Hey family, this is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Yeah, hey, so I'm sitting here in Nairobi. And hey, Hassan, what's the name of this place here? Uh, this is Gara. Here we call it Gara. Huh? Gara. Gara. Yeah. Gara. Yeah. Why they call it Gara? Gara, it's a. Uh, I know it's a uh, Siberia, we call it fig tree. Fig, fig tree. Yeah, Gara is big. We are here in fig tree now. Fig tree, yes. Oh, yes. Big market, they sell fruit. Sell fruit, okay. Now I'm here making juice. Yeah, yeah. He made me an awesome smoothie, you all. And what's so interesting is we were just sitting here talking. The guy is very friendly. And, you know, he's offered to show me uh, where he's from. He's offered to take me down here. And um, you can see... You can see the fruit uh, market here. And so we were just talking and I asked him a few questions about his, his previous job. This is his personal business. And I asked him, are you doing good with this business? And he said, yes, he's doing good. So, hey, Hassan. Yeah, cool. So you said that you're doing pretty good with your business. Yeah, this is a good nice, uh, nice job. It's a freedom when you're doing your own things here. Yeah. So you said, you said that you used to work for other people. Uh, the old days. And I said, are you making more money working for yourself? And what was your answer? My answer is more freedom when you're working yourself. The money doesn't make any sense. The sense what makes it is your freedom from your heart. Oh, when you're see. When you're working yourself, the work it will make you happier. Because it's yours. Whatever you make today, you want to eat. You wanna, no one will be controlling you. When you're waking up, when you're taking the job, when you're coming in, just to serve the customers. Did y'all hear that? He said you have more freedom. The money is not the not really the, the issue. It's that working for yourself, you actually have the power to bestow upon yourself the freedom. You know, this is the mindset of many people when they have small businesses. They're not concerned about the the money aspect of it. They're looking at the, the money that they may make in a day will supply them their needs for that day. And whatever may be left over, you know, they may do whatever they see fit for. And so the freedom that they have. So, hey, Hassan, yes, you said that um, Kenya is a great place to be. Yeah, it's a great place to be. Why? So, so freedom there, you pay less taxi, you stay at uh, cheaper houses, and the people there are good to welcome you with warm hearts. Mm. Yeah, here we share everything we have. Mm -hmm. Whenever you get a problem, we get help each other in mm. the background. Understand? When you have uh, 100 here, it's one dollar here of US. When you have, it's like you are rich that day. Mm -hmm. You can buy a food, you can eat. See how my food now? It's less than even one dollar. Is that 70, 70, 70? 70 cents. 70 cents only. For a plate of lunch, for yeah. your lunch. Yeah. Yes. And I had, I had my lunch today and I was blown away. Number one, I, um, I uh, bought my lunch and it cost me, um, it cost me a dollar seventy cent. Yeah. And uh, I asked the woman about several things to give me. That was to include, I got a, samo a big old samosa, I got a uh, rice, I got uh, some um, potatoes and, and peas and sauce, and then I got, um, uh, what was the other part? Oh yeah, 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 you go ahead. Um, and with something else, rice. It was rice and all that. It was something else. Plus a diet Pepsi, dollar seventy. He goes over there and he starts his he starts his uh, generator across the way, and he looks at his blender and he watches it as it blends across the way to tell when he can turn it off. Now he made me a smoothie which was a 12 ounce cup smoothie. What ounces was that cup? Of, was it 12 ounces smoothie that, that I bought from you? It's uh, 50 cents. Yeah, it was 50 cents, but what size was the cup? It's uh, 300 ml. 300 ml. Yeah. Okay, that right there is 16 ounces, I think. It's either 12 or 16 ounces for 50 cents. I had pineapple, carrots, ginger, lemon, and uh, garlic. And it's called the cold 
for the recipient for the cold. The cold, yes, it's the cold smoothie. And so what he does is he sits here and he blends it up and people around here come to him. They can either bring their own fruit or what have you and he charges them to blend it up. And if it's one cup, basically he'll charge. It's uh, 30 cents. Yes, 30 cents if you bring your own fruit. And then if it's a larger cup, then it's 50, 50 cents. Are you gonna... I'm making two small cups and a big one. Okay. Yeah. So he's making somebody's right now. Uh, who I saw the woman bringing her fruit. Yeah. And so he just blends it up, mixes it is up, mix it up. Yeah. We're mixing up now. We are finishing. Now we are done. I just put on the cup. And then he has sugar cane that is down here that he then puts in a sugar cane uh, squeezer or extractor. Uh, this one? Yeah. That's the 50, 50 cents. That's 50 cents right there if you bring your own fruit. And so he has his business here. He's been here two years. Uh, the three cents. The 30 cents? That's, 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 that's the 30 cent one? Yeah. And so that's the me, 50 let me, cent uh, one. Let me put here. This one. Let me ask you, Hassan. Uh, what would you say the average you make a day? I can make I can make approximately, but it's almost the twenty, ten dollars. $10. $20. 20 US dollars. Yes. A day. Yes. That's pretty good here in, in, in Nairobi. But when you remove everything clean, I get one, 10, $10 a day. When you do, when you clean everything. When you do, when you clean everything. Clean everything. When you clean up. Yeah. No. So what does it cost you to clean up? The clean up, you must pay the, 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 this thing we bought, the, the sugar can lime. The oh, when you when you buy your product, he's yeah. saying, okay, when he buys his product, then it's down back down to ten dollars. Like this one, yeah. The, the ginger, the yeah, everything that you have. Yeah. So, so I'm saying, family. He's even said that if if we would come on, bring on a business mindset. Africa is a lot of opportunity here. Yeah. Hold up, say that one more time. People don't believe me when I say that. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of opportunity here. Yeah. If you want to do work, you can come here, you work, and you'll get a lot of money. Yeah, this is your start. Is it hard to start a business here? No, no, it's cheapest. In fact, in my work, I started with uh, $120. Imagine. You started with $120 to start this business? Yeah, this business. Do you rent this spot? Yeah, it's by rent it. You rent it? Yeah, it's per day, it's per month, we pay $40. $40. Yeah, although it depends where you are. Some places it's a bit higher, you pay 35 3000 I mean it's $35. $35. $350, yeah, I said 3300 It's one here, around here you can get like 20 it's $200. Depending on, and that's inside of a building. Yeah, it's a building. When you are inside the building, yeah. that's a more more expensive than when you're outside. Now we are outside. Yeah. In the other market, and this market belongs to the government. This is a government market, okay. Yeah. And this market is called uh, fig tree. Uh, fig fig tree market, okay. You heard it, family. Look, it don't take much money to come to Africa and make much money. I mean, to make money, and the cost of living is cheap. That's the thing. The cost of living is cheap. Now, do do you live in your own house, apartment, yeah, it's or my own house. you live in your own house? Yeah. Did you buy your house or did you build your house? Or? If, if you want to build, it's more it's more cheaper if you get a land. Yeah. Because you are no, you only pay the rent and the, you only pay the electricity bill and the water. Yeah. When the house is yours. Yeah. Not when it's not yours, you pay the rent, you pay the steam, I mean electricity and the water. <clears throat> What more can we say? We right here in Nairobi. And this is just one brother that uh, is sharing with us that uh, his... Uh, this one up. Yeah, you go ahead and deliver. Because yeah. he goes delivers and he uh, he goes down here and people throughout the market, people out the market, uh, he goes deliver to. 
So this is this is something, family, that uh, we need to think about. You know, for those who are wanting to locate and think it's so hard, you know, just a fruit market. You know, and he's saying that he makes twenty bucks a day. That is, that's huge to some people here in Nairobi. When I'm told that the a dollar might be a day is the average. Now, just imagine you bring in your money, ten thousand dollars, to get you started on a small business and go from there. And the, you know, living. I'm look. I'm renting an Airbnb for like twenty bucks a day. Twenty bucks a day. Look, if I was going to get a apartment, that's $600 a month, okay? Now, of course, everything is more expensive than when you want to rent. But when, you're, when, you, when you do it longer term, that same place that I'm renting out, I can rent out probably for about $250 bucks a, a, um, a month, okay? So this is your man, not your boy. Get your butt over here to Africa. Peace.